welcome back. It is one of my Let's Talk Trash videos. This is an empties video where I show you all the products that I've used up and if I would repurchase them again or not. So it's kind of like mini reviews. So let's just get started because I have a ton of trash and every time I say I'm not going to let it like build up like this, I always let it build up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. This is in no random order. Sometimes I like categorize it by like, I'm gonna start with the face product. I'm just gonna kind of skip on through and grab whatever I grab. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing up is the Numi Hydrating Shampoo. This is the Hydro Punch line. I love this line. I thought I had the conditioner in here, but apparently I just have the shampoo. I always go through the shampoo first and then the conditioner second on most like hair products. Um, I, this is the third like bottle of the shampoo plus conditioner that I have owned. I absolutely love the scent of this. This really makes my hair feel very silky and nice and the smell lingers on my hair for days and days. This is like the best smelling shampoo and conditioner in my opinion. These are the Living Proof Duos, the Perfect day, Hair Day Conditioner and Shampoo. And I love these. They make my hair feel lightweight, uh, less greasy. I find I can go more days even using less dry shampoo for next day hair. I absolutely love them. Some people say they don't like the scent of the um, Living Proof hair products. I love it. It smells like margaritas, like almost like a lime margarita to me. I, I legit love the scent of it, but some people are like, oh, I wish it smelled better. I'm like, I could like sniff this stuff and be like, <laughs> just kidding, but not really. I love it. So really love these and definitely getting full sizes of them. Okay, two kids products. Uh, you guys know I occasionally include kids products and these are like no brainers. I always have like my Dutch Apple Kids Suave. My kids go through this. I use it to detangle their hair and just to kind of get like flyaways to be like put down in ponytails and such. Both of my, all three of my girls have really long hair. Um, the Suave Kids, this is a newer addition to our My Little Girl's hair routine. It's Light Hold Hairspray Alcohol Free and it's in like the scent Coconut. This is really great if you're looking for a kids hairspray. I like this because it is alcohol free. This just really gives it like a little bit more tacky of a feeling to hold down those flyaways all throughout the day. So these are like the two products that my girls use on their hair every single morning. Okay, another suave product. This is the Rosemary Mint um, Invigorating Clean for All Hair Types Shampoo. I don't like this. This was a pain to get through. It's been a while that we've had it and I made my husband use it up. It has like a really good scent. It's compared to the Aveda, um, the Aveda shampoo that's the same scent. I don't think it compares. I like the Aveda one much, much better. But uh, yeah, we've had this for a while. I would not repurchase it. I'm so glad to have used it up. Okay, I have like some serious kid addition this time, like tons of kids products. Um, love this Johnson Johnson baby lotion. Like my girls are older and my littlest one, she's still my baby, but I put this stuff on them because I love it and I love the scent of it. So I can't help myself. I like the nighttime and there's like a little baby on here and my littlest one is always like, I need my baby lotion because it helps me sleep like the baby on the picture. And I'm like, that's right, it does. Look at that sleeping baby. So let me put you your sleep sleep lotion like on and you can go to sleep. It works like a charm. I'm not going to let her know that, you know, it's just a picture, but, you know, she'll always be like, I forgot my sleeping lotion. And I don't care. I put it right on her so she goes to sleep. And they just smell like babies to me. So I'm a big fan of that stuff. Um, something that we used up that I don't like is this um, Johnson's Soothing Naturals. I don't know why. I think I got this. I honestly feel like I got this when my littlest was born. So took a while to like open up and use up but uh, it was one of those things where you get a ton of products and you like forget about it. You have to like dig into that drawer of stuff that you got at baby showers and whatnot. I dug in that drawer, we used this up and it was nothing that I would repurchase again. Um, we used up the Aussie Kids Coral Reef Cupcake. This is like the little Dora one. I don't know if I love this for the girls. Um, 
it was like one of those shampoo and conditioner and body washes all in one. I feel like those products either dry out the skin or dry out the hair. I don't ever feel like it can do all three of those things. But, they, I mean, they liked it because they were able to like pump. It had a big pump on it. I don't know. Oh, here it is. It had this big pump on it. So they, they liked the fact that they could pump out their own product. They, they like it when I get the pumps instead of just like squeegee bottles. So, um, I don't know. I probably wouldn't repurchase this again, but they really liked it. I might save the container and uh, use the container actually again and just fill it with another type of shampoo product. Okay, this is something I love. Again, I like my kids, even though they're older-ish. They're not that old, but they're older-ish, too small like babies still. And the Baby Magic stuff is something my mother-in-law used. And I like the... Baby Magic brand even more than I like the Johnson & Johnson just because the smells are so different. So the like yellow top smells so much different than the yellow top on the Johnson & Johnson. Same with the purple top ones. Um, but I really like these. They smell like baby for me, um, like a baby to me, and I just use them to wash the kids' bodies. Uh, again, they, I like the pump top. It's easy to get to and stuff. So this is like a major repurchase in our house. Again, another one of the lotions like... I had one in my twins bedroom and then one in the little girls bedroom and um, yeah so we just like went through a ton of those lotions again like I said I think the littlest one when she discovered that like she liked it to sleep like the other girls kind of were like hey I want that lotion on too so that's why we went through extra of those okay um, for makeup wipes I just have several these are the ones that I repurchase over and over and over again these are my tried and true they are the Up and Up wipes. And I really like the Up and Up brand. The Compare to Pond's Clean Sweep. I love these and they're like my constant repurchase. I always, always, always have them. So these are a yes to the dress. You need these. Okay, as for other wipes, I got these Skin Iceland wipes in some type of box that I had. Either it was a glossy box or an Ipsy bag, something. I hated these. These burned my face and I just didn't like them at all. So I used them all up and I, I ended up using them like to wipe off swatches or wipe off makeup. Sometimes I even use the wipes that I don't like on my face. Like you know sometimes you're over your sink and you drop makeup in your sink and like it's kind of a pain to scrub off with regular stuff. I like to just use makeup wipes to get that out of the um, sink because those take that makeup right off instead of smearing it all around. You guys know what I'm talking about? It smears all around. Um, okay, another one are Noxima wipes. I don't know why I picked these up. These were the oil control kind. I didn't like them. Um, won't ever repurchase those. These are Coge and Dew wipes. Uh, these are spa cleansing water wipes. I didn't like these at all. They were very dry. Uh, they said they're oil-free, contain herbal essences. I just didn't like them. Um, I, I won't ever repurchase those. Okay, a face mask that I used up is this one. It's from Bio Republic. They sent me a bunch of these masks to try out. They were like the sheet masks. This is the Green Tea Detox Purifying Fiber Mask. Um, I really liked this one. It made my skin feel really nice and clean. Overall, I really did like this. My skin felt and looked really nice afterwards. Okay, different facial product. This is the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Daily Clarifying Cleanser. Um, it had tomatoes, watermelon um, for impurities and whatnot. I don't would never repurchase this. This was a pain to use up. I don't think I like the say yes to whatever line. I don't like their wipes. I don't like any of their facial products. This was like a pain to use up. I ended up just using it to like wash my back, like to clarify my back. I don't know. That sounds weird, but yeah, I just used this for that because I just had to use it up. This is the, this brand is O-B-I-Q-O. And I, this was sent to me. It's a gentle face, facial scrub. I liked it okay. It smelled fine. Um, it was one of those products that I didn't really feel like it was doing anything. Um, I It was kind of one of those, the pain to use up. I wouldn't buy this. Again, it was sent to me. Um, I wouldn't buy it or repurchase it. That's why I've never talked about it on my channel. But um, yeah, I did use it up. Okay, this is so boring, but I used up Q-tips and I was like, hallelujah here. So I had to include them. I mean, 525 Q-tips 
can I get a what what? Okay, this is like one of my husband's products. This is the Men Essential Everyday Body, Hands, and Face from Gold Bond Ultimate. He liked this, I guess. I think he used this on his face. Um, yeah, it just smells basically like Gold Bond Lotion. Um, but yeah, he used this all up and he said he liked it. He threw it into my empties. He actually got on to me. I don't know if I told you guys this in, a, in another video, but I didn't do it in empties. He watches my empties videos after I post them. And he said that I did not do him justice. <laughs> like, there was one thing he was like, no, you said I didn't like that. And I did. Like, why did you? And so I was like, well, he's like, well, I'm going to have to come on and say and give my opinion or whatever. And I'm like, no, you're not coming on here. Only because you guys know I'm super protective, but also he's never like offered to come on to a video before, so it was weird. But anyways, he's not going to come on. Um, but I'm trying to do my best. I'm really listening exactly what he says about products, but apparently I messed one up. Okay, this is a soap that he got from Dr. Squatch. Gold Moss Soap Scrub. Hang on a second. I need to ask him where he got this. He has these places that he shops. One is called Touch of Modern. He really loves that website. He says that it has a ton of things for men. A really great website to shop for your man because it has like a variety of different things. So he gets stuff sent from there. And also from, um, he has a bespoke post box. And so I think this might have come in that or he ordered it separately off the website. But he used the soap up and I forgot what he said. About it. Hang on, let me ask him where he got this soap. Honey, where did you get the Dr. Squatch Gold Moss Scrub Soap Bar? Oh, Touch of Modern. He said he got it from touchofmodern.com. Did you like it? Yeah. He said it was okay. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear it. So, um, but Touch of Modern, they have a lot of really great products. This said it was made from five natural oils, no harsh chemicals, handcrafted, and it was like a square soap, and it had little scrub things in it, and it smelled interesting. So he said that he liked it okay. Maybe this was one that didn't like linger on the skin or anything. Um, I like it when the scent really lingers on the skin. He has this new one that smells so good, and it really lingers on the skin, so I'll have to let you guys know when I come across that, like when it comes in empties. Okay, a little bit more of skincare. I know I'm switching back and forth here between stuff, but I used up a whole package of these Shiseido Facial Cotton. I love these. These are always a repurchase of mine. They are amazing. They they are really soft. I use them to take off my eye makeup. I use them for toner. Um, they just feel really nice on the eyes when and on the skin because they're 100% cotton. And I know you guys would say like, oh, that doesn't really matter. It does matter. It matters to me when I'm rubbing something on my eyes. I have really sensitive eyes. Your eye area is very delicate and you should prevent tugging and pulling on it. And if you have very sensitive eyes, you might want to look into some of these cottons. I know that, um, I think they're called cotton clouds. Those are different, um, an alternative, a little bit cheaper. These are $9 a pack. Uh, but those are around, I think, $3, 3 or $4. You, you can find them online and on Amazon. These I find at my Sephora, and JCPenney actually has them in store, um, but you can get them online. So uh, so $9 for a pack of 200 I believe, and yeah, these lasted me forever. Oh, sorry, 165 sheets were in here. Okay, this eye cream is like my favorite eye cream of all time. I am obsessed with it. I cried so hard, not really, when it was done. But this is the Colleen Rothschild Complete Eye Cream. This is the best eye cream ever. I'm totally going to be repurchasing this. This is like my number one, my favorite eye cream ever, ever, ever. It's light, but it's super hydrating, and it feels great at night, and it feels great in the morning. It almost has like a gel-like, it's not even a gel-like, it's a lotion-y consistency, but it feels like cooling on the skin. I don't know what it is. It's like a miracle, miracle, miracle. My favorite, so I definitely have to order more of that. Okay, this is an, an eye serum, smoothing eye serum from Onsen. I don't even know if this brand is around anymore. They sent this to me a while back. I used it all up. I really did like it. 
Um, it smooths the delicate crow's feet around your eyes. I like the smell. I liked the consistency. The only thing is it, it was quite a heavy serum. And if you are, have a tendency to get like plugged ducts or those little milia, the little white plugged up um, pores around your eyes, this is not a good thing for this. I actually had to stop using it. I gave it to my husband. He has a little bit less sensitive skin around his eyes. So I made him use it. I'm like, that's what I do. You know, you kind of do like trickery, like can't waste this product. You better put this on your eyes just to protect your skin, you know, because I don't know about any of y'all's men, but mine is like hesitant for all the skincare because he equates like taking care of your skin is like a girly thing to do. And I'm just like, no, it's, it's for all people. Like you don't want to be that old and crinkly when you grow up, like when you grow up, when you grow up and get big boy, but like when you grow up, up when you're aging you want to take care of your skin and that's for everyone so I just kind of have to use a little bit of trickery to get him <laughs> into the skincare thing so I'm like oh I can't use this it like doesn't react well for me um, but you can definitely use it so anyways he used okay, it up. I have two different perfumes here this one actually is just old smelling so I have to go ahead and get rid of it but I really loved it. This was a present from my dad. My daddy bought me this and I am having a hard time with parting with it which is why I think I've kept it for so long. It's probably six years old. It doesn't even smell good anymore. I haven't worn it for a couple of years but I just thought I would talk about it in the video because I did use up another one. This is um, I think it's called Nina by Nina Ricci. This smells so good and like fruity. Um, it just, it smells really good. The cap just even fell off. So yeah, totally need to toss this, but um, I really do like that perfume. I wish I wouldn't have thrown that down. It almost broke. Okay, a perfume that I did use up, you guys. Britney Spears Fantasy. This is my, this is my stuff right here because this smells like cotton candy. If you guys watched me for a while, I've said this a million times. I probably have worn this scent for like four four years, five years, maybe six years. This is the only scent that whenever I wear it, people are like, oh my gosh, what are you wearing? It smells so good. And I get embarrassed to like say what I'm wearing because it's always like, you just don't want to say I'm wearing Britney Spears because they're like, what, you teeny bopper. But I'm sorry, Britney Spears has one of the best smelling perfumes. It smells like candy. I love it and I always get compliments on it so it's always a repurchase of mine but yeah, love Britney Spears Fantasy. I used up the, um, this is the, like I like how they have sprays. I don't like roller balls. This is the spray of the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This is like one of the scents that I use and I just have this one for traveling. I have the large size. I think I got this in like a gift pack at Ulta love this fragrance it's like I don't know so fresh I remember I was looking for new perfumes I sprayed this one I bought another one and then I came home and showed my husband the one that I had bought and he was like "Ooh, but what's what are you wearing it's like crap so I had to go back and buy this one because that was the one he liked so um and I really like this one too so used up the spray of it the little like smaller travel size spray. Okay, for some makeup, the Rimmel powder. This is the Stay Matte powder. Okay. Sandstone. Love this powder. It is such a great mattifying powder. I find it gives a little bit of coverage. It's perfect to use like a big kabuki brush and to set your foundation. I like this even more than I like Max MSF Natural and I am in the color, like I said, sandstone. Such a nice lightweight powder and I just really like the way it looks on the skin. Okay, used up House of Lashes Lash Glue. Really love this lash glue. Only problem is, is that it, um, the wand form, it gets hard at the end to kind of dig around um, and get the last parts of this. So, but it is a really great lash glue. It dries extremely quickly, so you just paint it on. You legit wait like five to 10 seconds before you can put it on your eye and it is dry. One of the fastest drying lash glues that I have tried, really, really like this stuff. Already repurchased it. Um, this is the Maybelline Eye Studio Black Liner. Used it all up. It's a really, really great gel liner. Uh, if you're looking for, I actually like it better than Max Black Track. 
So definitely one to pick up. I also used up the gel liner from um, I like Maybelline Eye Studio. This was an eggplant. It's a purple color. There is still a little bit left, but it started to get dried out. Um, really nice, pretty purple color. I like the color variation that they have. Those are some of the best gel liners from the drugstore. Um, fast drying top coat. This is Glisten and Glow HK Girl. Um, fast drying and super shiny clear top coat. This makes my nails look like I had a gel manicure. Amazing stuff. One of the best top coats I've ever used. And you can buy that online. And it's very, very inexpensive and ships really fast. And the ladies are amazing. Okay, used up a new Chanel Le Value Mascara. This is my Holy Grail Mascara. I love it. Um, it builds so much volume. I'm wearing it again today. I bought a new one when I went on my last trip. This is like, I will always have this mascara. I go through them. It takes me a while to go through them because honestly, the longer that the mascara is open, the better it becomes. I love this mascara. It just builds so much volume and length with my lashes. Okay, three candles and then I'm done. I used up the autumn candle. Smells so good. This one smells like dark pomegranate, red delicious apple, and juicy fig. Love that candle. I always repurpose the candle jars afterwards. This is another one that I used up and it is the Champagne Toast. Juicy nectarine and black currant. Smells so good. Love that candle. And this one is Marshmallow Fireside, which is the one that I use the most because my husband and I love this scent. This just smells so good to me. It has like such a sweet scent. This smells like toasted marshmallows, vanilla cream, and the smoldering wood scent. I like the blend of all those scents together. Honestly, that's like my favorite candle. And look, I have soot all over my fingers from that. I hope I don't get this on my face. Okay, so that wraps it up for my empties. If you guys stayed that whole time and talked trash with me, thank you. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.